My name is Brennan Phillips. Uh, I'm an oceanographer and an ocean engineer, and I'm, as an engineer, I'm a roboticist, so I develop underwater systems, and those underwater systems need to be tested, ideally in really interesting places. So on this uh, expedition, I'm hoping to take some new devices, some new cameras out that we've been working in the lab with, and take them to an area that hasn't been explored before. Two of my research themes are uh, reducing the amount of power that deep sea vehicles require to do the work that they're doing, uh, and then also reducing the amount of impact they have on the environment when they explore. And so currently what we do, and what I do, when we are looking around in the deep ocean, is we turn the lights on as bright as possible, because we want to see as far as we can. If you have a very sensitive camera, then you can dim those lights. And there's a lot of evidence that suggests that that reduces disturbance to things like fish. I've been interested in low-light cameras for that reason, and also they're really good at imaging bioluminescence. So you start getting into knowing your cameras and basically taking whatever is hot on the market right now, whatever the next new camera is there, taking it underwater and, and seeing what it can do. Low-light cameras are something that constantly evolve. And currently, your challenges come down to uh, heat and keeping the sensor cool, data storage, because you end up recording high quantities of data, more than most cameras, uh, and finding a way to either get that to the surface in real time or to store it underwater and then get it afterwards. And lastly, being able to focus clearly is difficult. Um, you take for granted how, how easy it is to focus on a, a very well-lit subject. Uh, when you have a very dimly lit subject or something that is only on intermittently, it's really hard to focus on that. So these are the challenges we face and we come at it from a number of different angles. Uh, at the end of the day, you really just want to get the camera out as much as possible in a number of different scenarios and hopefully you get something good out of it. In order to be flexible with different platforms, you know, Hercules is great because it's a live, a live bandwidth pipe to the surface. And so we can control it remotely with live view um, that way. But you also find yourself in situations where you're working with a manned submersible, or maybe you don't even have a vehicle like that. You might just have a winch and a wire, in which case it's really good to have it record internally. So I've been designing my systems for the past year or two to be able to go uh, seamlessly between those different modes. Uh, when we have the ability to view it on the surface, that's awesome, but we don't necessarily need it. And what that equates to is more opportunities to work underwater.